Pennsylvania, also known as the Keystone State, is a state spanning the northeastern, Appalachian, and mid-Atlantic regions of the United States. Having been the second state to join the Union, Pennsylvania has a considerable amount of historical significance. The land was originally inhabited by Indian people, including the Shawnee, before an English Quaker colony led by William Penn seized the land. Pennsylvania also held the meetings of the First and Second Continental Congress and the signing of the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia. Today, Pennsylvania is one of the most prosperous states with an economy based on manufacturing, mining, high technology, and farming. Much of the nation's coal resources and steel production are based in the state. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh are the two biggest cities in the state, having a combined population of just under 2 million people. Today, we will look at 10 of the coolest buildings throughout this historical state. Number 10, Falling Water. Designed by renowned American architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935, Falling Water is an absolutely beautiful house situated partly over a waterfall. The house was intended for the Kaufman family, one of the largest department store in Pittsburgh as a destination for a weekend getaway. Falling Water exemplifies the architect Frank Wright's philosophy of organic architecture, the harmonious union of art and nature. The house is located about 70 miles southeast of Pittsburgh and now is under the ownership of the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy after being donated by the Kaufmans. The house was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1976 and is still welcome to visitors today. Number 9. Kentuck Knob Located less than 5 miles from the previous house, Falling Water, and designed by the same architect, Kentuck Knob is a one-story, 2300 square foot dwelling situated on Chestnut Ridge. Again similar to Falling Water, Kentuck Knob is situated in the middle of beautiful natural scenery. The house originally belongs to the Hagen family, who owned 80 acres of the surrounding mountain area. In a book she wrote, Mrs. Hagen said that, quote, there is a sense of beauty, comfort, serenity, and harmony in the house and all its surroundings. Kentuck Knob was designated a National Historic Landmark in 2000. The Hagens eventually sold the home and it was open for tours in 1996 and can still be visited today. Number 8. Philadelphia City Hall Philadelphia City Hall is the seat of the municipal government of the city of Philadelphia. It houses the offices of the Mayor of Philadelphia and the Housing of Chambers of the Philadelphia City Council. The building also serves as the courthouse as the seat of the 1st Judicial District of Pennsylvania. At the time of its completion in 1894, Philadelphia City Hall was the world's tallest habitable building. Today, the building constructed of brick, white marble, and limestone is the world's largest freestanding masonry building. Interestingly, City Hall has also been a filming location for several motion Pixars including Rocky and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. In 1976, the building was designated a National Historic Landmark and still holds an important role today. Number 7. Lackawanna County Courthouse The Lackawanna County Courthouse is a historical courthouse built in 1884 inspired by the Romanesque revival style of architecture. The rectangular three and a half story masonry building is complemented by several monuments located outside the building. This includes the Washington Monument and the Lackawanna County Soldiers and Sailors Monument. The Lackawanna County Courthouse is nationally significant as the site of the first session of the Anthracite Coal Strike Commission in 1902. This strike commission hearing represented the first nonviolent, even-handed intervention by the federal government in a labor dispute. The building was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1997 and is still used routinely today. Number 6. Beth Shalom Synagogue The Beth Shalom is a conservative synagogue located in the Philadelphia suburb of Elkins Park. It was designed by famed architect Frank Lloyd Wright, the same designer of Falling Water and Kentucky Knob from earlier in the video. Meaning House of Peace in Hebrew, the Beth Shalom has been called a startling, translucent, modernist evocation of an ancient temple since its completion in 1959. The building has been cited as an example of the Mayan revival architecture style with its deeply inclined walls of translucent corrugated wire glass. Its architect Wright said the building projects skyward like, quote, luminous Mount Sinai. The Beth Shalom Synagogue was designated as a National Historic Landmark in 2007 and is continually open 24 hours a day. Number 
Number five, the Kimmel Center for the Performing Arts. The Kimmel Center for the Performing Arts is a large performing arts venue in Center City, Philadelphia. The center is home of the Philadelphia Orchestra. They were one of America's big five symphony orchestras. In addition, it is home of several other orchestras and music groups while also accommodating a variety of touring soloists and ensembles. The dazzling regional performing arts center discreet brick exterior rises to a bold 150 foot glass vaulted rooftop, offering stunning views of the surrounding city. The interior features the Verizon Hall, a 2,500 seat main performance auditorium, while also including the 650 seat Perlman Theater that is used as a recital hall and a proscenium theater. The modern Kimmel Center, just over 20 years old, regularly hosts shows and performances along with the surrounding cultural campus. Number four, the Fisher Fine Arts Library. Staying in Philadelphia, this time we are going to the University of Pennsylvania and their Fisher Fine Arts Library. The red sandstone brick and terracotta Phoenician Gothic giant, part fortress and part cathedral, was the primary library of Penn University from 1891 to 1962. The library's design plan is exceptionally innovative, with circulation to the building's five stories through the tower staircase. The main reading room is a soaring four-story brick and terracotta enclosed space with enormous skylights which illuminate the surrounding inner rooms. The exterior is just as impressive, including detailed walls and windows along with these gargoyles. The building was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1985 and still serves the university as faculty, staff, and students today. Number 3. The Haynes Shoe House the Haynes Shoe House is a 25-foot high, 17-foot wide, and 48-foot long shoe-shaped house in York, Pennsylvania. Built by Malone Haynes to prevent his shoe store in 1948, the house was initially provided as a vacation spot for senior couples and newlyweds. Over the years, subsequent owners have offered it to the public for rental or operated it as a museum and ice cream shop. Just recently, new owners have planned for it to become an Airbnb property. The house surprisingly contains five stories, with a living room located in the toe, the kitchen located in the heel, two bedrooms located in the ankle, and the former ice cream shop located in the instep. Interestingly, this unique building was actually visited in the eighth season of reality TV series, The Amazing Race. Number two, the Mellon Institute of Industrial Research. The Mellon Institute of Industrial Research is a former research institute in Pittsburgh, which is now part of Carnegie Mellon University. After becoming an independent research center, the Mellon Institute subsequently merged with the Carnegie Institute of Technology to form Carnegie Mellon University in 1967. The Mellon Institute, designed by architect Benno Janssen, is noted for its neoclassical architecture and elegant construction with its signature monolithic limestone columns, the largest such columns in the world. Currently, the Mellon Institute houses the administrative offices and research laboratories for the Department of Biological Sciences and Department of Chemistry, as well as the Office of the Dean for Carnegie Mellon University's Mellon College of Science. The building was recognized in 2013 by the American Chemical Society as a National Historic Chemical Landmark. Number 1. The Pennsylvania State Capitol The Pennsylvania State Capitol is the seat of government for the U.S. state of Pennsylvania located in downtown Harrisburg. The building completed in 1906 was designed by architect Joseph Miller Huston in a Beaux-Arts style with decorative Renaissance themes throughout. The PA State Capitol houses the Pennsylvania General Assembly made up of the House of Representatives and the Senate. It also contains the Harrisburg Chambers for the Supreme and Superior Courts of Pennsylvania and the offices of Governor and Lieutenant Governor. The Pennsylvania State Capitol is often referred to as a Palace of Art because of the many sculptures, murals, and stained glass windows placed around the building, most of which are Pennsylvania made or Pennsylvania themed. The PA State Capitol was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1997 and was designated a National Historic Landmark in 2006. So there you have it, 10 of the coolest buildings in Pennsylvania. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and check out our channel for more. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.